In an earlier video, we covered pecan harvesting. I discovered cracking a pecan is fun. There. Although it's smashed here. Bruh, that can't work. I can't squeeze so much. Oh, okay, now it's day shit. Oh my goodness, that was too hard. That was too hard. That actually helps. Uh, wow, it just helps. It just helps. But cracking a whole lot of pecans, not so fun. If you are shelling this many pecans, you are going to need a better cracker. We wanted to see how it was done, so we headed to Miller Pecan in Afton, Oklahoma. We're at Miller Pecan. Let's check it out. Miller Pecan began growing and harvesting pecans in the 1980s. Their business has continued to grow and now they operate pecan cold storage, a shelling plant, and a retail store. Seth Miller showed us around the shelling plant. Look at these beauties. They just came in on a semi-truck. The first step is sorting the pecans by size. Pecans come in different sizes. This is a pecan sizer. It shows sizes from 8 to 16. You can use this tool to check pecan sizes. A size of 8 is 8 sixteenths in diameter or half an inch. A 12 is 12 sixteenths, a 13 is 13 sixteenths, and so on. This is a size 15. Fortunately, there are faster ways to size pecans than by hand. Miller Pecan has two different size sorting machines made by Savage Equipment. Both operate on the same principle. Pecans enter this rotating drum. Each section has different sized holes that get bigger as you go. Pecans that are small enough to fit through a section's holes fall out and into a bin with other pecans the same size. Bigger pecans keep moving down the line until they reach a section with holes they can fit through. Sorting by size is important because they changed the machine setup to match this pecan size. Matching the setup to the pecan yields more halves and less broken pieces. When you crack them, you try to keep them in whole, whole pieces because they're worth more money. When a bin is ready to be shelled, they dump it into one of these baskets. A forklift lowers the basket into a steam chamber, which sanitizes the pecans and preps the shells for better cracking. Next stop is the cracker. This special chain is sized to match the pecan, and it carries the nuts one at a time into the cracking machine. Inside, pneumatic pistons crack the shells. The cracking machine is designed for two things, speed and precision. It can crack 1,200 nuts per minute, but it's not just fast, it's precise. Cracking the nut enough to remove the shell, but not too hard to break the nut meat. The next step is the sheller. When the nut enters in, the shell is cracked but still attached to the nut meat. The sheller's job is to remove the meat from the shell. Again, this machine is fast but gentle. How fast? 2,100 pounds an hour. When the pecans leave the sheller, the shells and meat are separated but still mixed to together. Other machines remove most of the shells, which get turned into mulch or compost for gardens. 
Some of the shells can still be with the meat, and hand sorting it out would be challenging. So Miller Pecan uses a vision system to remove any lingering shells. A computer uses cameras to watch all the pecans flowing past. If it detects a shell, it blasts it with compressed air, blowing it out of the product flow and into a trash can. Of course, not every pecan ends up as halves. Some do break into big pieces, and some into small pieces, but all of it can be used. It just has a different value per pound. So a variety of size sorting machines are used along the way. Now that the pecans are shelled, they have they have to be dried to less than four to five percent moisture. This allows them to be stored longer and remain fresher. These batch dryers are used to dry the pecans. Gentle warm air is blown through the bottom of these batch dryers. Operators monitor for even drying. They use this device to measure moisture for ideal drying. After drying, the pecans go through one more critical operation before packaging: human inspection. All of the pecans pass over these savage inspection tables, where workers carefully visually inspect everything. If it's not a perfect pecan product, it gets removed. At this point, the pecans are ready for packaging, distribution, and sale. That includes retail-sized and bulk packaging for commercial buyers. Located in front of the shelling plant is the Miller Pecan Company retail store. Here, you find lots of raw pecans, pecan products, and more. They also offer online shopping, and if you are lucky, you might even find them at a farmers market or festival near you. We enjoyed our tour of this fascinating facility. We couldn't help but notice that lots of this equipment was made by Savage Equipment. It turns out that Savage Equipment is ma- manufactured right here in Oklahoma. They are the world's largest manufacturer of pecan equipment, so we called them up and asked for a tour. Be on the lookout for that video because they gave us a first-class tour, and I am sure you will be impressed. We sure were. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Thanks for watching.